Morning, everybody. I'm sure Simmer here. So, a couple days later on the farm, and I've got obviously some work to do because I've got some crop in the ground. So, need to go ahead and get uh, the second coat of fertilization on, and then we'll uh, see where we're at. All right, so I'm here at this my sheds, getting everything hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and use liquid for a couple reasons. Uh, it's less expensive per liter, and this has got a wider working width. So it is our best option. We've obviously had some issues where it appeared we've needed to use solid for to get things to work. So obviously I'll have to monitor that when we start off here. But let's get this filled up and get going. So it takes a little while to fill. After I finished last time, it was, uh, I did just jump off, so I didn't put my quad track away officially, but it's my yard. I decided just to leave it there, so it's all right. At least it's in the yard. I'm not leaving it laying around on the street or something like that. All right. So we'll head on up, and oh, we got weeds too, so we're going to have to deal with that at some point. Not a surprise. Again, we didn't plow, we just direct drilled, so. But early in the day on late autumn, so we've got our... Um, yeah, you know, it's pretty dark. We've got to have our lights on, is what I was trying to say. Um, again, a little bit challenging to see here. Uh, I'm hoping I'm not missing a bit, but if I am, it's just a bit. Get our GPS set. You guys know the drill by now, especially if you're players. I'm just tagging along. It always works the same way. And that's how you get good at farming, right? Just like you get good at any job. You keep working it, keep improving your ability to do it. But I figured I'd have weeds, but I figured the more important thing to the outcome of the crop is fertilization. So I always like to try to focus on um, you know, if there's a visibility challenge with something, so for example, like if it would be hard to see, unless I did it in a specific sequence, obviously that might impact things, but with GPS that gets less and less. Little pigs, we still got their night lights on, but they're doing their thing. Um, so then after the visibility isn't in play, it becomes what's the impact to the crops. So obviously if you fertilize, we get a 50% boost, or, or I'm sorry, it's like a 35% boost or something to growth. It's 50% on the fertilization itself, but um, but the boost for killing the weeds is much less. I think it's like a 15% yield bump, so I think we get like a 25% yield bump at least for we for uh, fertili fertilizing. So we don't want to lose that. And so my idea there is, you know, in case somehow I, I can't get on, something comes up, I've at least done the things that are going to have the most impact. All right, so we'll go back this way. I'm guessing I've probably got a gap of some sort that I'm going to have to go back and handle. Yep. But that's usually always the case, so i got to line up somewhere. So we'll go ahead and do that. So in the interim, let me get you up to speed. It's only been two days, but we've got a lot going on on the server. 
So first off, sadly, uh, Bryce has decided to leave. So you can see field 20 is back in FSN control. That also means now if it comes up, my guess is it's um, you know in a state that it needs to be replowed. It's okay. So, um, but we've lost that FM. Sears appears to still be here, but obviously they're the one that has told us they're very likely to leave. In addition, if we head up here, this location, which is all forest, is up for sale, and Swede, who owns these, is actually going to go ahead and buy it. So the response when it came up, and we posted it and let people know on the Discord, is, ooh, the one I've been waiting for. And he does have a bid on it. So uh, in a couple days, that will be his, and he may be doing something very similar where he's been waiting um, on some yard stuff, or I, you know, I don't know what his intent is for that, but he's been waiting. You know, maybe he just wants to do logging periodically in the uh, in the winter and, and make a little money that way. I don't know, but that's what he's been waiting for. And so we do have a new land purchase and. The nice thing, from the mayor's standpoint, I don't have to go plow it because it's not, there's no field on it, so um, it didn't create any need that way for me. But yes, the uh, you know obviously an FM coming and an FM leaving very quickly. Um, you know that kind of not that it creates it doesn't create extra work, but it's just certainly work that I was anticipating a lot less um, of a need for. Alright, so this will be tricky here. Let's take a look. So, somewhere here we're going to have, you know, and this is probably about it. We can go up a little higher, but still. Um, let me move this over be good enough and we'll get ourselves spraying and once again I'm probably yep going over because we can't see as well there we go I was wondering when it was going to update but we are also at the point you know, it's a little hard to tell in the early morning twilight or sunrise um, but November is our most vibrant month of fall. We've got all our trees in full glorious color right now. And then tomorrow we'll probably have all our trees completely barren. And that's likely when we'll be back on going ahead and handling the herbicide to get rid of these weeds and get ourselves set for harvest which is obviously then going to be some months away but we'll continue doing what we can when we need to do it so you know but the hope is obviously you know Swedes spending money so at least we've got one FM pretty active um, we'll just have to see how things pan out I know he hasn't had the time and been able to touch field 21 much. But, you know, and the only reason I'm thinking he's doing something with a yard in that space is he's obviously been leaving stuff kind of laying around in that shed that he had to remove because of uh, the FSN rules of, of how close it was to the road and so forth. He didn't place again in that space. Obviously he does have his main silo over there. That doesn't mean you won't sell it and then move it and go ahead and again kind of do what I had done and cut himself out some space in the woods. You know, he's spending extra money to get space in the woods. So whatever he's got, I'm sure he's got glorious plans that are going to do something of six hundred and eight thousand dollars of value for him, which is 
what he's got right now. So if I recall, I normally kind of try to just pull through the trees here and let this thing spray and then try to position to go sideways. Because otherwise it's just too much of a challenge and I'm not sure that I can get all the way in, but we'll see. Yep, I think we actually did with the hit and the, the, the bit of a twist. I think we were fine. All right. So we get ourselves positioned. It's obviously a bit of a challenge to back this thing up, but we do our best. I've learned over many decades of, of work on the farm here that um, trying to do it quickly never works. So being very deliberate in my reversing and we are off and spraying again. So, you know, this is at least an easier implement to do what we did, which is at the end of the row, pull in, the, you know, the seed hawk with its insane length makes that relatively impossible. But I'm, I was remembering as I was struggling with the seeding in, in this corner that we're dealing here, I do think I pulled into that opening that in essence, for whatever reason, looks like a road down to the river and um, I think that's what I had done and actually I was able to go far enough there obviously to to plant that and so I'll just have to remember that next time and I'm also trying to remember but I believe I've never really tried to plant anything with the seed hawk down on the south end because I think I only had the seed hawk once we were doing the wheat here but I could be crazy um, I usually get accused of being crazy um, by a lot of people so who knows I'm kidding I really don't but I should maybe how about that I'm hoping I didn't leave something it looks like it was nice and gave me credit and of course we're gonna have a little bit dangling off here because we're gonna right after this section here now the field starts to drift away so we're gonna have to come back and spray a bit to get that little sliver fertilized later But we'll go ahead, we'll get to this notch, we'll get ourselves with the header there, header there. So, as I've said, that when we started this, you know the drill. That's kind of been how I've decided it's the best way to work the field right now. So that's how we're working the field right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, which is going to at least give me a little bit of a cut there cover all this and we got to get far enough past the trees again with our rows that we're not going to hang up our sprayer so yeah we'll get past this segment and then we are good for the headland up here so there we go, and then we will head down and do the last segment, and then we'll do the work of the field. So sun coming up, a little bit of haze, but 7.14 a.m. I have been, I must say, I've been a, a little bit... Uh, lazy I guess is the word I have not been getting going as early for a while um, you know and I had mentioned I had been sick so even though it was a mild case I'm still finding just not quite the same level of energy even a few weeks out so I'm praying that changes but um, I, I figured the worst thing I could do 
to have things go away is is push myself to suddenly be back on the schedule I was if my body's kind of telling me, yeah, I'd prefer you not do that. So I'm trying to be a, a good human being and, and listen to my body's signs of stuff. And so we're getting started a little later often. Um, and so in this case it works out because otherwise I'd be doing all of this pretty much in the dark. So let me do this. Again, get to the line. And let's see. Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> Want to see the map. Want to see what I need to do. All right. So actually, I can just go up and down. I'll worry about that line probably at the end. I say probably at the end because half the time I forget things. Like, I know I talked about, we'll go check out the pigs at the end of the last episode, or, you know, that we would do it at some point, and did we check out pigs? I'm sure you don't remember any pigs, because, no, we did not. So my intent is the same, because otherwise the pigs may just be, the pigs may just be kind of wasting time. I just have to remember I did two passes here, which I probably, it's my own fault that I did that because that's not normally what I do with the sprayer because it's wide enough, um, which means I'll probably be spraying far too early because I'll forget. But uh, no, what I would like to do is if I'm full on pigs, I need to start monitoring their value. So let's take a look so I don't forget again. So yeah, I guess I can't tell here if I am in fact um, at 108. I, I mean, I could add things up, but I think if I go to the pig style later, it'll tell me that. But reproduction, so let's see, our old 30 months there. All right, so our oldest pig is 30 months. They are continuing to have pigs, so it appears, you know, they're 25% reproduction, where these pigs are still the same value, but not. So it looks like 1,200 is the cap of the value a pig can get to. So if I recall, it was $525 to buy a six-month pig, but we're probably never going to do that again unless something catastrophic happens, um, and frankly, they'd have to introduce animal death into the game in some manner. I need my fertilization map back. Right. Um, just so that I'm ready when I need to check things out. But right now, um, my understanding is animals can't die in the game, and so we'd never run into a situation where suddenly, uh oh, I've got to start over again. Um, I'll always have pigs adulting, and that means they'll be reproducing. Because obviously, that puberty bar changes to reproduction once they get to six months. And then the younger ones were either 200 directly or some value of that. Um, did I get close enough or not? Oh, jeez. I always love that. So, no, I, I cut it off too early. So, let me go and spray it a little farther. Goodness gracious. All right, that's got to be enough, right? Oh, yeah. Cause the tree was getting me because I'm like, well, i got to stop because i got to turn around, but I just will have to back up either way because otherwise I'm going to get hung up on the tree. Whoops. Goodness gracious, not the way I wanted to go. Crazy, crazy. 
Alright. So that's the way I want to go. And again, we don't want to run into an issue where I leave a bit at the top. I should be fine. But I think this will be our last pass that we can go by fully on the field. But yeah, I think it was 200. It might be 200 even for the piglets. So basically they'll grow to six times the value we paid and the original ones double, go a little more than double. But obviously anybody can figure out that's not as much as a money maker as get pigs for zero, which you get by having them born, and then sell them for 1200 So the cycle is pretty simple. I just need to now figure out am I full up in that pigsty, which I might be really close to. And, you know, maybe I'll sit here and add things up just to kind of get a, a ballpark figure. Because it shouldn't honestly be that hard. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six groups of 12. So that's 72 pigs there. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six groups of six, which is 36. So 72 and 36. Lo and behold, 108. So we are, and probably have been for a long time, we can backdate into this 15 months, 24 months, 16, 20, 12, at least we have a 12. So yes, for a year, we have been uh, full on pigs. So the other thing I need to check, okay, reproduction, they're getting to puberty, reproduction, is anybody at reproduction? No, okay. So the highest reproduction is 25%. So I assume that means, you know, they're going to have babies in, well, or I'm wondering, are they reproducing less because we're full? But, yeah, what I'll want to do is, is suck 12 pigs out, and obviously I'll get my oldest pigs. So let me check here, because, yes, I'm well into my area, which I figured I would be. And, of course, the GPS is locked up. There we go. All right. So we'll head up above the island, and we will continue moving there. just need to get clear enough past the tree that when it tries to straighten out, it's not going to be a problem. But I'm not going to get hooked. I think I'm okay. Yep. All right. And now we keep spraying. So, yeah, the thought is... I'll continue to go back and analyze... Because basically we should have most of these groups creating pigs in groups of 12. The challenge then is going to be, you know, are we going to have... Because I think I ended up with six pigs and a lot of groups of six pigs because um, we were running out of room. But because I know I bought like some of the initial purchases other than the one group of piglets I got. Actually, I guess, no, I think I only did one group of adults and one group of piglets, and everything else was piglets, piglets. So I think that got created by the fact that, obviously, we were off the server for a long time, the pen filled up, and so forth. So we now clearly have more work on the farm, which is awesome. That's good stuff. That's obviously why we're raising pigs. We get to start making bacon, um, but obviously we don't do that. There's no, um, you know, now that I think about it, 
There's no meat processing plant in productions. I wonder if just, like, I don't know, because they were worried people would be upset that you'd basically be buying a slaughterhouse. But, I mean, it, it's part of agriculture, so I, I don't know why that would be the case, but I don't know. So I am a little surprised, like, you know, we can do butter, like there's a dairy to take cow production, but there isn't a place to take cattle and get beef. So, um, that would seem like a production that someone would come up with. But maybe there's no way, like, with the fill type to take it there and have it... Because maybe that's the thing, like, if a fill type can't go into production already... But no, that can't be right, because there's people who have created, like, things that... You, well, do they use... Do they use totally different products? Because if I think about something like donut production, they're producing something brand new. But I don't know then that, like, anybody's ever taken something like... And again, this wouldn't be a real production of any kind, but, you know, take the donuts and do something else with them. Like where you've created a new fill type, and then it is the basis of a production. But you would think, because it's a fill type, that you could do that. So it's like you could, you should be able to then take animals and say, okay, they're a fill type. I mean, yeah, you'd have to take them over in your animal trailer, but... Yeah, why wouldn't we have a meat processing plant? Or am I crazy and we do? I I just don't recall that we do. So, because I certainly don't remember, like, steak or bacon or ham or, um, you know, lamb chops being products that, um, that you can work with. So yeah, so that's the uh, new question of the farming simulator day. Like, why don't we have... Somebody needs to make a slaughterhouse. Maybe they have and I missed it. I'm going to have to go look at some point. Again, this is certainly something I probably will forget. Um, but yeah, in this case, if I could do that, and then I could, like, take bacon somewhere else... Although, yeah, I guess I'd have to create that production and use it. Yeah, so I went ahead and looked at the productions just to make sure. And yes, there's nothing to, to take animals to and, and turn them into meat. But obviously, that would seem to be a, a kind of a no-brainer to me. Like, you know, you could process, I mean, other than the horses. Uh, you know, people don't normally turn horses into horse meat and eat them. I mean, I know some countries do do stuff like that, but I think... Those that don't kind of look down on that practice a bit, uh, or more than a bit, I guess it depends, but... All right, so this is the last run fully up here, so I'll be able to go get the little sliver that I have on the, on the end. All right, uh, stuck again, and it probably went too far, but yep. Darn it. I don't know why I just didn't realize it. I'm pretty good at estimating. So, it's like I knew it was stuck. And, alright. We'll just fold it. 
just so frustrating with this stuff. All right. Um, but they always get hung up. All right, where is this? Because I was going to say it's probably pretty close. And I'll be able to tell with the... Okay, did I somehow lose the... Oh, yeah, I guess. Because that's right, I turned it off because it was uh, pulling me off the f field. So that was the, the culprit that caused the problem anyway, that I went further up than I wanted to. All right, so basically at the point here, I probably started a little early, but again, just trying to be thorough and, and get everything. I think I'm okay here. Obviously, I'll start moving that way a bit just to be certain, and then, um, you know, we can continue once we get to the corner here. It's probably good enough. Yeah, that should absolutely be good enough. Yep, that's just the... Alright, yeah, I still left my... Whoops. I left my GPS on. That didn't help. Or GPS, my cruise control. I do have my GPS on too, but... Um... You know what I mean. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with something helpful to say, and there really isn't anything. I just screwed up and let the thing, the vehicle, just keep going crazy. How about that? All right. So now we'll spray. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I think I'm fine. I started early as always. But now we just have the one sliver down at the south end to go. So yeah, overall, we've got a good amount of work to do, so I will likely absolutely take a full load. I'll make sure I take 12 pigs, if I recall. my I mean, it's been, you know, I've only used the trailer once to get them there, but I should be able to take 12 pigs and get them to market, you know, just one trip. And, um, you know, that'll allow 12 new baby pigs to be born, but I think I'm then going to have to kind of keep an eye out because, um, I may need to honestly take more off at a time because I've got four types of pigs. I may honestly need to, to take 48 every time I go, once I really get things cycling, so that I can then get a full brood of new pigs, and then, um, you know, take 48, because as I think about it, there's probably a benefit to always having 48 slots open, for the most part, because it's not as if they make me any money while they sit there and eat. In fact, they, frankly, you know, they lose money because they sit there and eat. Um, and so, basically, if as soon as the piglets are born, and I'm full up at 108, I'm trying to think this through, but I, I believe the proper way to do it then is I then cart off 48 pigs to market so that the group of 12 that's pregnant, um, can can have the piglets. Now, as I think about it, though, um, because it looks like 24 months, I mean, what I don't have is I don't think I have any pigs that are, say, 20 months. I guess that's what I now need to go look at. So I'll probably wait until I get on a longer row. I, otherwise, I'm going to just be bouncing back and forth and driving both you and me crazy. All right, and I'm also starting to run out of herbicides, so I need to pay attention to that, too. But I should be able to get this pass done 
I just don't know that I'll be able to get the next one done, and then that will cause me a different thing where I'll have to won't be able to go answer my qu pig question or start looking quickly at my pig question. So what I'm trying to now figure out is when do the pigs get to the 1200 point? When do they mature and when are they market ready? So right now I know 24 month old pigs are. Um, but the question then becomes do I have enough going on and I may not because again the 48 how I arrived at that is that's like you know the four kinds of pigs that I have um, you know are are there if that makes sense and that you know gives me a brood of 12 I don't think because they're called broods uh, that's like vipers um, and other things I'm sure but either way pigs aren't vipers Oh boy. Hold on. Silly me. Right? Yep, silly me. I like I'm clear of the clear of the trees and so I, part of what I had decided was well if I'm clear of the trees I'm I'm going all the way. I don't need a headland. Well, then that means I need to start where I don't need a headland. Crazy person. So I'll have a little bit of overspray. And do I want precision farming? Um, all right, so let's go look at the pigs. All right, so they're four months. They're obviously not enough. 15 months, they're only at 787. 24 months, they're there. 15, 16 months, they're 833. All right, 20 months, they're 1016. And that obviously likely will be what I've got. So somewhere between 20 and 24 months, they hit $1,200. My guess is it's going to be 24 months. That's probably how they've got it designed. Is You raise them for two years, and you've got full-grown porkers. So, um, so that's the cycle. I think. So they get two years of glory on the farm uh, before we cart them off and they no longer see anything. Um, you know, again, somehow we don't have slaughterhouses in the game, so I guess we're not supposed to talk about that, but it's the circle of farm animal life. Um, so I don't know why we wouldn't, because that's what we're doing. I mean, we're not raising them to be you know, in Charlotte's Web or anything and, and just kind of sit around and talk to spiders all day. We're raising them to sell and, and make money. And typically when you're selling a pig, like they turn it into meat, they don't really do anything else with it. Um, I mean, I guess they could become a part of them could become a football. I mean, it's a pig skin. Um, but they're, they're still not alive when they are a football so I mean the result is the same I mean I, I get I'm <laughs> some will say I'm being a little crude but th th it's, this is how things work so um, once again I, I don't know why we just w wouldn't be open about it this is what we raise pigs for is to send them to slaughter so they can be turned into products Let's just call it that. Some are products that we eat. Some are products that we use for other things. So, um, but that's the situation. And so I'm trying to figure out, is the product cycle two years? And right now, I think that's what I'm going to operate on because I think that's likely what I'm seeing evidence of. All right. So now I need to again figure out exactly how far we got. All right. So just past the island and then down a bit. And this is again where we're never going to be right. We're going to waste some fertilizer because I'm going to want to not have a gap that I need to go and deal with again. I guess I could have 
touch things up there, but I, I'm, I'm up here now, so I'm not going to do that now. I'll worry about it later. All right. So we've got this. And yeah, we're close. And right about there, let's say. Don't know that I could have done it any better. I think that's accurate. Yep. All right. So we are moving along again. Again, we have kind of a double. No, I'm not going to fill in the sliver. Um, still can't really find an angle that lets me see it easily. But basically, we're here at this point. So, a couple more passes, probably actually three by the time we're fully over. All right. Yeah. Should all be good. So at this point, I guess, just because I love talking to you guys and I love giving people the option to either say I've had enough and they leave whether I do a time lapse or not, you know, because you can always skip to the end. But at this point, we're close enough to the end. Well, actually, we're not now that I think about it. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and um, I don't really have anything else to talk about now that we've chatted about the pigs and figured that situation out. So we'll be doing some pig work, adding that into the mix, which obviously we knew was coming by adding the pigs to the farm. But um, I'll see you as I get this wrapped up. As we always have, there's always a bit of excitement at the end here. So you can see I've got this tiny sliver, and I think that's because we adjusted the field width or, or the field position when we went started going north-south. Um, and that caused a bit of movement. So I've got my sprayer width down to 8 meters. I tried 2 meters and basically I wasn't really doing it. So um, I thought I knew where to position myself and then clearly I did not. So um, I know we've got to get a ways past the edge of the field here. So I don't know that it's worth playing too much of a game. Um, but let's see, that should get it all. And that one up north above the beehive symbol has always been a problem. So I'm not going to worry about that. Now, I think what messed me up before was, um, at least partially, that I didn't adjust things appropriately. So, um, as far as getting the width back, and that may have been part of my problem with striping, is I did the same thing. So I had actually adjusted down, done that other sliver, and then when I suddenly changed over here, I had the same problem going on. So I had to do some more passes. I've got some ideas on how to maybe change things a bit uh, in the future on working that. So, you know, maybe when we use the herbicide next, I can do that because I'm not going to have to worry about stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, clean this stuff up, um, repair it, put the fertilizer back in the silo, and obviously, um, you know, then I'm not going to repark it because I'm immediately going to need this to put herbicide down. But what I've definitely found in the past is trying to do two liquid things one after the other just doesn't work. The game doesn't consider that a state change. And so I'm not going to do that because I think it might, again, kill the visual weeds, but then not, um, not actually keep it in the field and they'd be back. So that's the plan to finish up, but I will see you next time.